are the materials that we're going to use to make this finished product here. This is going to be an earth bucket and you can see it has a piece of PVC tubing cut on an angle. This is what's left of the lid that comes with it. Just basically cut a circle around it. I'm going to show you how to do it uh, on the video fast motion probably. And then underneath what sits on top of that when you drop it in, this is just the bottom half of a planter. I think that's a one gallon planter or something. And we drilled a hole in here and we put in, you see that's just a fitting so that's going to be a weeping hole because the top of this, when we set it down in, that's going to sit on top of there and you can see that's right where the weeping hole is. So that's going to fill up with this and when the water gets, you don't want the water to rise up here so it's going to bleed out. So we're going to make one. All we have here, here's our, uh, our little baby pot. It's already, it has holes on it. I put a couple extra in it just so the water can wick up. That's going to go in here. We're going to cut our little uh, lid that's going to sit on top of that with the hole in it. You see the hole in it so the dirt can go in so it can do the wicking process when you put the water in it. It'll start soaking up here. And um, we'll cut a hole in the center for that. And then we're going to cut our PVC pipe. I have a piece of an inch and a half laying around here. I'm going to cut that and put it on angle also. I'm just going to hold it in here and make a, a hand mark. You know, I'll come in here and hold it. Yeah, I want the tube to be here, and then I'll cut it right here. And then this piece is already on an angle, so that'll be my first piece. And I'm going to repeat it times two, and then we'll have a couple more buckets that we already have because it's pepper time here in, in South Florida. We have some peppers, uh, Central Florida. We got to get some peppers in the ground, but in the earth buckets. All right, let's come to the shop. Take the inch and a half PVC, make a cut. There, I have a little thumb mark. And I cut that with my sawzall, put it right next door to its buddy here and make a little little mark so I can hold it better. There we go, hold it and cut it. This guy needs a 45 on it, otherwise it'll sit flush on the bottom of the bucket and water will not be able to flow out if it's flat. So we have to make a 45 so it has a way to vent through. And we just burn it with the sawzall. Zoop, there it is. Nice cut. So we're going to cut some holes in the plant pot. This is where the lid is going to sit on top of it. It'll be dirt on the inside and water on the outside. And these holes aren't looking too good, but they're good enough. Water will get through there, and there's some on the bottom also. So the plant pot is just going to be filled with a couple holes, and that's where the water will wick up. We don't want it to fall through because the lid is going to sit on, on top of it. So we make a mark around the bottom because it is tapered and that will fit nicely on top once we cut it. So I'm going to drill out and cut with my tin snips. A little starter there, right on the line. And I just take the tin snips, they're the right-handed ones, and make a cut all the way around my mark. This way it'll sit on top of the plant pot. So we cut that all the way around real nice without cutting your fingers. I guess you could use uh, other types of shears that are heavy enough or a knife maybe but I like to use these it made a fast job and look it sits right on top real nice so now the outside we're gonna notch with the tin snips and cut around because you want that lid to fall inside otherwise it's gonna that's the lid that came with it it's gonna stay on top so you just cut around and I'll show you here where I'm cutting I think I cut right around where the ridges are right there and if you follow that all the way around, it'll be rough, but you can cut it. It took me about a minute. Not bad. You can see it's a little rough going right now. But once you get going, see, it cuts really nice. And then when you're done, you have that little guy there. One more cut left to do. We have to make room for our inch and a half conduit to go in there. So we're going like, to make a little half moon cut. And uh, I just eyeballed it. I didn't do anything crazy. And uh, made a little half moon guy didn't cut myself again and away we go back into the pot uh, other thing we have to do is for our drain plug we put uh, a half inch hole saw did the trick for me you could use other bits and that burned through really nice that hole goes right at the very top of where I have my bucket uh, I mean the plant pot and here's the, the connector and I have a piece of mesh screen 
You could use anything, I guess, but I use this little mesh screen, about a four by four piece, fold it in half. I put the connector in here real nice, twist it, and that's my drain plug. And uh, we'll just stick the mesh. I just folded it in half and pushed it through here with the pinky, and uh, away you go. Now no solids will, will go out, and no bugs will be able to crawl in, really. So, you know, you, you're going to get some kind of bugs, but we're trying to keep it low here. And you put your lid back inside. Look how nice that fits in now that it's trimmed off. And you stick your half inch and a half inch PVC in there. There's your bucket. Put it on one side of the, the handle. When you begin, you won't have troubles. There it is, earth box. Now we're preparing the soil to go into the very big earth bucket. And I wanted to keep it light and fluffy, as you can see. We have all this stuff here is going in to this mixture. Look how, how nice this soil is. So it still has to be broken up a little bit. What it contains is it, uh, we have this really, it's called Peppy Frog. Look at that brother there. It has bat one on it, but it's a real nice potting mix that we bought. That's very light. We have some organic uh, earth scat that we're putting in there, worm casting. Some mushroom compost a little bit. My mistake last time was I used 100% compost in the earth bucket and it was too dense. So I was trying to keep things light. So on top of that, I put a little bit of peat moss in it and some perlite. Everybody knows who perlite is. Those are the little styrofoam ball things. And that is uh, gonna help it be real light soil. Uh, so the everything in it can let the rain drain through and it's not going to bulk up and tighten up around the roots so the roots can move freely to the bottom of the earth bucket and that's what we want to achieve this time we did one bucket like that already with the same mixture and the peppers are just going crazy we'll show you a little bit later okay so we're out back here at the patio and i just wanted to show you uh, we said we already started one bucket with this soil mixture and we're very happy and we have four plants they were store-bought they weren't from seed but uh we're already getting peppers on them and these plants are flowering. I snipped the first couple flowers that come off so they can uh, keep going skyward and uh, that has worked for us really well. They're starting to see we're getting little baby peppers on here. So we want the soil to be nice and light and loamy I hear people saying and the rain will come through it and it'll water itself but until then you kind of have to water it through the watering tubes that we have here and uh, you know, once the roots are, uh, are established down there, you'll, the, the water will be laying right on top of them. But we're gonna plant some new peppers in, into the new big one. And I wanted to show you the construction of this thing before I fill it with the soil I just prepared. Okay, this you may recognize from every time you buy a three gallon uh, container filled with something. And you can see I blasted a bunch of half inch holes in it. And this was the lid to this guy, look. That's all this is. I cut this out, left a little piece for my little drain tube, and all that is is a piece of inch and a half PVC with an elbow, and the, the piece down inside is drilled so the water will come apart. And here's my little stanchions. I made uh, these three inch PVC stanchions for this to lay on, because this dirt will get heavy, and you have to leave, see that's my space here, where this is gonna sit. You're gonna see how this looks, and it's all gonna come together in your mind, like, wow, I get it. So this guy goes where? Uh, put the square peg in the round hole. And it's gonna stick out a little tiny bit, which is okay. And then we fill this guy up. And we're gonna fill him up to about here with all this beautiful soil that we just made. And what happens is, if you watch, as I'm putting this down, you have to picture this in your mind. And I know it, it's pretty intuitive. You've used uh, Scott paper towels before. And when you see the quicker pick, picker upper, you see exactly what's happening with the wicking. The, the water wicks up the paper towel. It's gonna to do the same thing here from the big, uh, the water basin that's gonna be holding the, uh, the water and the nutri and nutrients below here. It's gonna start wicking up here and soaking up into this soil where our roots are. So that's how this uh, whole earth bed thing works. And 
I'm going to show a picture of the peppers that we planted because it's summertime here in Central Florida, so peppers are the word. We have a bunch of different types of peppers, and uh, we're going to keep doing that. And at the end of the project, we'll show you what they look like inside of this bucket, and maybe we'll do an update later on to see uh, how well or not this new soil is working. Seems to be working really well over here with these guys. These guys really seem to be uh, kicking, and that's what I hope to see over here. I'm going to plant about eight plants. Two four, six, eight, and um, that's really going to load this container up. So eight pepper plants that are going to be yielding, hopefully, you know, anywhere from 20 to 120 uh, peppers is, is pretty good. And if you can get that times eight in this container, I say you're doing really well. Uh, we have the drainage spout on the other side over here. I just have to get a little piece of screen to put inside the hole here, right here. And... Uh, this thing will be ready to go. So I have a piece already cut and I'm going to put it in there so all the uh, hard stuff doesn't drain out. And uh, we're going to be good to go here on our uh, earth bed. Thanks. Stinking dollar weed out of there. And it's been working. I mean, it, you know, we have to weed it. Um, this guy right here, 